My life changed when I left my, my, my street. I was 70 years old, I never heard any Italian. Uh, I never travel on my own. I never take any plane on my own. That's when my, my life changed, you know. And I always tell the story about that train. I had to meet uh, the team in a village in Montaigne in Italy. I don't remember the name, but I have one stop in uh, the station of Milan. But that day I, I go on my own. No phone at the time, nothing. So just me and the paper where I write my uh, home uh, phone number. So I arrive at the station from Paris. And you know, when you arrive, like the big uh, screen, when the, each, the later keep changing, you know, like the old movie, like they keep changing. But, uh, so I look, I look my ticket, I <laughs> look, I didn't know where to go. I remember it was a, a, a guy, and I, I'd, uh, after I, I know he's from Senegal, he looked at me. He said, oh, how are you, brother? You look uh, lost, you look sad. I said, yeah, I don't know where to go, so I show him my ticket. He looked at my ticket and he was like, your train is gone, he's already gone like one hour ago. Wow. Start scaring, I start, what's going on? What I'm going to do now? No. Don't worry, uh, do you have a number I can call? I say, yeah, I give the number. He go, he call. He call my mom. My mom say, who is it? No, I am with your son, but who are you? No, I, I am like a stranger, I don't know. He's just at the, at the station and he, he missed his train. Oh, my mom say, pass me my son. My mom start crying. You have to go back, put him in the train. You have to go back. And the guy was, I think he was like an angel. He was like, no, look. Uh, I will care of your son, don't worry. Tomorrow I will put him in the next train and he will uh, join the, the team in the little village in Italy, in the mountain. So I go with these guys, uh, we go there. One room, uh, I think it was like something like eight, ten people. Um, they give me food. We all sleep together on the floor. He wake me up at six in the morning. He take me to the station, close to the, the train, and he said, this is your train. My angel, I call him my angel, he writes where I have to stop to, to, to join like, the team and everything. So every time the train stopped, I was going to ask to, this is here. At the end, like, many people were out of the train and it was me in the wagon with three nuns. So <laughs> I say, is here? No, 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 senora, no, 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 no. And after they say, yeah, you have to go out here. Came out here, nothing. Even a bench, no, a bench, nothing. Just the wind. Wow, I say, now I'm completely lost because no angel, no neutrino, no phone, or I will uh, get out of this situation. Five, 10 minutes, half an hour, one hour, two hours, no one come. Start to be like really dark. I spent like, I think like six hours waiting on my own. A car come with the light, he was like the director of the club. Oh, sorry, we didn't know. They say you missed the train, but after we reach your mom, they she say you're still on the train and everything, so I come. So he came, he take me to the hotel, and that's when I, I had that track suit and I see all my teammates. That's, I think, that's when my life changed.